So, I need to get a screen for my side door. Um, it gets really cool at night around here now. But, uh, all the flies come in. And, well, it's kind of funny because little Lexi, she'll run, sit in the front window in the living room and, and catch them and chew on them. And I know it's not very appetizing, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's funny and I am so tempted right now just to stick her in the window because I can't find my fly thingy my bobber it looks like a tennis racket and it's electrical so they need to stay outside they drive me insane i hope any, somebody else can agree with me on that man that flies who and i grew up in the country so it was way worse down there now i'm in the city and it's not so bad but they still drive me insane so we're doing something a little different today you guys were like dude you already minute it get get your crap going sorry um, I've been doing quite a bit of happy mail videos, but today, instead of coming, these beauties are going. So these lovely two ladies are going out. They are my four, three and four of 10. Uh, no, actually, I think I had eight, eight was the initial count oh excuse me so i had eight total people i usually cut the number off at about 10 uh a year uh, i'll take all of my happy mail that i receive and i will take their address and stick it in a little container and pull out a name and whosever name i pull out through those are all who get um, happy mail is a thank you for that year. Now, of course, I send out other happy mail throughout the year, but those are more of a kind of thank you type deal. So, I didn't get quite to 10 this year. Um, or last year, I mean, last year, because I was kind of starting out and kind of growing. Um, and the year before, I didn't even, had no concept of what happy mail even was. So, uh, now we have these wonderful pretties ready to go and you guys probably want to me to jump in already and see them so uh these are going to be going out by friday and shipping to lisa and i can't remember the other name i think it's marcia i got so busy talking to you guys that i spaced the names so lisa and marcia and it's got all these pretty pretty decoupage on the front we got a pocket on the side here and these are um brown paper bag journals and we got some really cool unique stitch work going on here not quite unique but unique enough i really like the the down the middle blocking to interlock all the stitches like that and i started in the middle and worked my way out on each side so i could have some nice drawstrings when i was finished uh, if you guys don't know how to do this stitch, um, let me know. I usually don't do stitch tutorials. I just refer you to uh, that lemon lady because she has some amazing stitch tutorials. But if you would like me to do the tutorials, I would be honored. Um, I did just do a text block tutorial the other day. Uh, I'll try and remember to link it in the description box below. Um on how I do some of my easy stitching on 75% of my journals. So on the inside, we just have a colorful array of beautiful papers. Here's a wonderful one. And there's a tuck spot on the side. I love this paper. And such gorgeous, gorgeous lace. I love all this chunky lace. I love how this page came out. So much color and texture. And I just, uh, any of you on Instagram would know, and here's a nice big pocket, that I just did a medium, well, I do like medium small batches of eco paper um, because I can't really do big batches as of yet. I can't afford to go buy the big, huge bin or boiling pot. They're like, 
a hundred to two hundred bucks for the size I would like to get eventually. But um, I did get a smaller one for about thirty dollars from my local Asian market. It was a bigger one too. I didn't go to a tiny one. I went to the one on the north side of town, and it was just a ginormous one. And they had a whole aisle specifically dedicated to kitchen utensils like in restaurant size type deals so um if you want to be able to get a nice pan for that uh go to our local asian market and look for an aisle where they actually have an entire aisle dedicated to cooking soup because that's going to be your best bet if you would like to see a tutorial video on how I do my eco paper, please drop some comments in the description box. I would love to get a tutorial out to you. Um, because of where I got that pot, I'm not sure I would be able to leave it any links. I mean, you could probably find some similar on Amazon under Asian stock pots. I have no idea. Personally, I like buying locally. I always have because it supports the local um, community and keeps our money in the local community. I don't mind outsourcing and buying on the internet through other states, but I feel that, you know, it could be help, help our community grow, give us more jobs, that whole sordid deal. Oh, go away, Mr. Fly. I'm going to go on a fly rampage when I'm done. I chased one out the kitchen today, or earlier, while I was actually putting... His, doesn't that look so pretty with its gorgeous layering? But I chased a fly outside earlier when I was actually laying my paper out in the sun to dry today. It's supposed to get out up to... Um, uh, well, it got up to 106 degrees yesterday. And it's supposed to get the same temperature again today. So I figured I would throw the paper outside. My luck, all the clouds will start back building. Because it did drizzle yesterday evening. 106 degrees and it rained. We're just, we haven't had weather like this since I was like six years old. So, but hopefully the monsoons will be dumping on us a lot this year. That would be wonderful. We could definitely use it. And according to the weather service, we actually had some, because of the rain here recently, it's brought us out of a 10-year drought. So that was really awesome to hear. Oh, yes. Now there's not too many pockets in this one and there's not too much decoration. I just kind of left it simple so whoever gets it can fill it with love and so much goodness and I think this would be like a really great quick grab and go type journal when you're on a trip or something. It's very bendable, it molds and moves, and really easy to. Oh, excuse me. Don't mind me, I just woke up. <laughs> very easy to throw in your travel bag and go. So here's this lovely. And I left the strings long enough. You can tie it on the back. You can tie it on the front. And of course, it has the same stitching across the back. These beautiful papers on the front. Nice big pocket with some a little bit of extra goodies to play with. Alrighty. And I, again... I mean, just look at that beautiful lace. Ah, oh, so in love. And I love how it lays when you open the journal. It kind of reminds me of those layered dresses. The layered lace dresses. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Or for a while there, those layered shorts that were really popular, layered in lace. I mean, wouldn't that just be gorgeous? All those colors. I'm just going to have to take a picture of just the colors for my Instagram photo. I think that would just be an amazing photo. I love this paper. I love doing the darker ones, but I also love doing light ones. I kind of keep it mixed. 
it's kind of a little bit more budget friendly too. That, and I don't know about you, but I have a hard time writing or even, I love writing on the darker pages, but I hate collaging on the darker pages because you cover up so much of the beauty. It's just so hard. So I, I think keeping a good balance between light and dark makes it happier for me in a sense to where I don't feel so bad throwing collages on the more vibrant pages there's two this is actually a unique pocket um the piece was too big for the section so i just folded it in half and i do have some tutorials on how i do some of my ephemera um i will try to remember to link them in the description box i also try to come out with new tutorials every week if you guys have any suggestions on what you would love to see or anything new that i would love to learn or anything new that i know how to do that you do not i would love to be able to make a new video for all of you Lo the lovely ladies. We're about ready to hit a thousand subscribers. I'm very honored to have so many people following along and so many people that just love the content I put out, love the clarity of the videos. I know that that's one thing that my mom really comments on and a couple of her customers that now follow my channel is that when you watch these videos the clarity and that's what i strive for is the clarity and the sound is pretty exceptional exceptional compared to um some of your regular uh, videos that are very standardized which you know it's understandable that people can't afford to upgrade and go all fancy and i understand that but uh, I've, I've always had, you can ask my mom, I've always had a good quality phone. I've always had a professional style camera. That's just who I am. I did photography in high school and one of my mom's customers was a photographer for a newspaper and she gave me a 35 millimeter um, camera. It wasn't digital, it was color. And I had to go get them developed and I had so much fun with that camera I was very sad when I took it to a bonfire for a school event and someone ran off with the camera uh, it I was devastated for a very long time but it did not deter me because I took photography class in high school and I kept dabbling in photography granted and there's the last pocket there and there I do not do it professionally 24-7, but I am excited that the other day I applied for iStock and they accepted my work. So uh, I'm not going to lie that that really made my day. So um, now I've been working on a couple of pieces that I'm going to re uh, release on iStock. I've also been working on a couple of pieces that I may release as digital art here pretty soon, but uh, it's a work in progress. I already have so much on my plate already. I just try and dabble a little bit in my spare time and I don't put too much thought into it because I really do enjoy it and I don't want it to become something I hate. And I like the, and the same thing I've told you guys that I also want to start a, a blog a story blog on science fiction stories um, I, I can't remember I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it uh, and I was like oh I was talking to the other half and it's like oh, I, I want to start a blog but I don't want to have to be on time constraints and have to list something 24 7 because you know what if I get writer's block so I decided you know what I'm just going to I'm gonna do a blog I'm going to do a writer's blog and I've been brainstorming names for it and 
I'm going to start trying to contact um, artisans to commission a couple of pieces, hopefully, to feature on the page. And of course, you know, they'll be, they'll be recognized, so they'll get traffic from that to buy their art. But in the same sense, I want to just start writing again and put it out on a board and people can come see it and read it whenever they like. But I've also decided that I am not going to kill myself trying to get something out every week. So uh, for those of you who are interested and would love to follow along, stay tuned on that one. But please do not expect me to post something 24-7 because... I think right now my first passion is making journals and the writing comes whenever I just feel the spark and sometimes I feel it all the time sometimes I don't feel it at all so and actually writing is part of wanted what wanted me to make start making journals when I was 16 I was at the Renaissance Festival and I seen handmade journals and I one of my teachers knew that I really really loved it she is the most amazing supportive teacher I've ever had and she went out and got all the supplies and we spent a school day making paper and creating our own journals and I was completely in love with that. Uh, the sad part is I never did create any more journals until later when um, about three years ago is when I started making them again. <laughs> So, uh, there's a little short story for you guys. Uh, I, it was wonderful to see you. I hope you enjoyed this video and please send out some shout outs to the lovely ladies receiving these goodies and drop some comments on any content you would love to see and anything else going on. Or if you just want to stop by and say, Hey, that's always appreciated too. Thank you. Uh, I hope to see you guys Friday. We will be finishing up this lovely lady and then it will this Friday. It should be finished. You guys will have a fully bound book. Alrighty. I will talk to you later. Bye.